Okay, so when mounting your telescopes onto your stringers, we have an inwards. Inwards always facing inwards to the conveyor system. Okay, so we want to make sure that that tab is always sitting on the inside stringer. Further to that, we want to make sure that our string is clean of any debris, any dust or dirt that may be in place, so we want to clear that off. So we get that on, we have our magnetic base that's going to secure the telescope in that position. We mount both telescopes on both sides, and then we'll mount our beam on top. Right, now I'm going to pass the trough beam across. Dave. Oh, sorry, mate. Once again, you can see why we don't need to take off the nut. We have a slot that the telescope mounts through onto the, uh, onto the beam, and that is sitting central on the beam, on both sides of the slot, and centralised onto the conveyor system. We now have the beam and the telescopes on. The nut, the nut comes finger tight, and then we give it a little nip tuck tight on the top. That now is mounted and ready. We connect now our hydraulic lines to the two telescopes. Pause it. So I've passed the hose over to the other cylinder. Once again, make sure our fittings are clean, free of debris, all wiped clean, both ends, both faces. And again, we want to make sure that that hydraulic connection is home, all the way secured. We want that nut being done all the way home. Right, further to that, connect the two blanks to keep them clean. Right, now that we have all our hydraulic lines connected, we now need a line of communication clear and precise with the person on the other side of the conveyor system. We will turn the isolation switch on the pump. We have our breather connected because we're ready to use. Our battery indicator is telling us we've got plenty of battery. Our connections are tight, nice and tight to both cylinders. Breather's connected. Right, we'll now go up Line of communication with the person on the other side, making sure everybody's clear of the lift. All clear. All clear. Up we go. Everybody clear. Right, once we've got to the top of the lift, we then use our securing pins, locking pins, to engage into the telescope. That slides in. Locking pin in. Locking pin in. Both sides. That line of communication needs to stay open before we de-energise the pump. As you look at the pump and come down to our pressure gauge on our pump, you will see that we're running 210 bar, two tonne of lift. We want to remove that stored energy off of our equipment so that the guys are able to work under a non-suspended load. So we're going to come down on the hook. We keep that line of communication open. Down, coming down. Stored energy removed, the equipment's now ready and fit for use for us to work under the conveyor. Right, to be able to remove the locking pins, we obviously need to go back up on the hydraulics. So we'll come back up, communication line happening, energizing. Locking pin can now come out safely. Pin out. Pin out, put it back in its securing spot. This allows us now to lower the hydraulic lifter back to the ground. Coming down. 